Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to learn differential equations or we are going to solve differential equations which we can solve for P. Now, point number one, you should be 100% aware that P stands for dy by dx. Okay, so there are three types actually, equations solvable for P equations solvable for y and equations solvable for x anyway in this video we will learn how to deal when we are able to solve for p and remember p stands for dy by dx and the only thing you need is you should be very good with first order differential equation that means variable separable reducible to variable separable homogeneous, reducible to homogeneous, uh, linear equations and reducible to linear equation that is Bernoulli's equation. Okay, so you can write the working rule. So the first thing we are going to do is we will solve the equation and find the value of P. The second thing is we will write each value of P independently for example p is equal to the first solution p is equal to the second solution p is equal to third solution fourth solution as many as solutions that uh, we got in the first line and then what we do is we solve each equation independently now remember sometimes these equations will be like very easy to simplify for example it might be variable separable but sometimes it might be a little bit difficult. It might be um, linear equation. It might be homogeneous. That we will know only when we solve it. Anyway, let's go for one, um, what you call, simple problem. And anyway, the last part of the solution, write all the individual solutions as a product. And that will be the general solution. So one last time I'll repeat. First what will you do? We will solve for P. We will find the value of P. Second thing, equate each value of P separately and use the uh, idea that P is dy by dx. Now remember, each equation may be uh, like what you call variable separable or homogeneous or linear or Bernoulli. Anyway, solve each of the equations and at the last you make the individual product equal to zero that will be general solution. Now let's do one problem otherwise you won't understand. So please write solve p square minus 2 into p minus 3 equal to zero. So can you see uh, a differential equation given in p? Because P stands for dy by dx. It may or may not be specified in the question. But you are supposed to realize that P stands for dy by dx. Anyway, by factorization or by using a calculator, you can solve for P. I found the values of P as minus 1 and 3. So you got two values. Now what did I tell you? Equate each value independently. And use the fact P stands for dy by dx. Now look at this. You got two differential equations, right? The first differential equation, the second differential equation. It can be variable separable. It can be linear. It can be homogeneous. It can be anything that you learned in first order differential equation. Anyway, here things are like really, really easy. Because I can see both of them are variable separable so dy equal to minus dx dy equal to 3 into dx now integrate this you will get y is equal to minus x plus c here we get y is equal to 3x plus c that is x plus y minus c equal to 0 3x minus y plus c equal to 0 now, what will be the general solution? So, we got the individual solution, right? Now, the general solution is 
x plus y minus c multiplied by 3x minus y plus c is equal to 0. So, that's it. Now, let's go for another question. Solve the differential equation p minus x into y p minus x squared p minus y squared equal to 0. So, what's the first thing to do? Solve the differential equation. In the sense, find the value of p. So, we get p minus xy equal to 0 or p minus x squared equal to 0 or p minus y squared equal to 0. Anyway, I got three values of p. The first value, the second value, the third value. Now, what we do is we use the fact p stands for dy by dx. And that means we get three differential equations. How many differential equations? Yeah, three differential equations. dy by dx equal to xy, dy by dx equal to x square, dy by dx equal to y squared. Now what we do is, we analyze the differential equation. Variable separable, variable separable, variable separable. So things are going to be very easy here. But sometimes, one might be variable separable, another might be linear, or maybe you will get homogeneous. It depends on the differential equation's solution. I mean, this value of p. So, let's make it into variable separable. 1 by y dy equal to x into dx. And here, dy equal to x square into dx. And here, 1 by y square dy equal to dx. Now, we can integrate. What is integration of 1 by y? Yeah, log y. Log y to the base c. And integration of x is x squared by 2 plus c and y is equal to x cube by 3 plus c and this one minus 1 by y is equal to x plus c and then we get log y minus x square by 2 minus c equal to 0 x cube by 3 minus y plus c equal to 0 x plus 1 by y plus c equal to 0 so what's the general solution all you have to do is you have to write the product that is log y minus x square by 2 minus c x cube by 3 minus y plus c x plus 1 by y plus c equal to 0. If you want you can simplify a little bit. Now remember each person might write the answer slightly differently. So don't expect that your answer and the book answer and your friend's answer might match. It may or it may not match. For example, some people will write constant on the left side. Some people tend to multiply throughout by 2 and use properties of logarithm. The solution will look entirely different. But your solution and that solution uh, are both correct. Okay, so let's go for one more question. So please write the last question. Solve the differential equation p square minus x into y equal to y square minus p into x. So, uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to take everything to the left side. p square minus xy minus y square minus that will be px equal to 0. So, I can see our identity a square minus b square and then px minus xy so this becomes p minus y into p plus y and here we can take x common p minus y equal to 0 now tell me what is common here yeah p minus y times p plus y plus x equal to 0 so we get two solutions p is equal to y p is equal to minus x minus y. Now what should we do? We use the fact p stands for dy by dx. So can you see we got two differential equations. How many differential equations? Two differential equations. Now come on look at this. This is variable separable. 
but this is linear can you see linear differential equation dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q now what you do is you have to solve both the equation this is very very easy to solve it's extremely easy to solve so 1 by y dy equal to dx integrating we will get log y to the base c is equal to x plus c uh, if you want you can manipulate if you want you can write like y is equal to e to the power x plus c that's up to you i told you some people will leave it as such some people will manipulate because you know log inverse is exponential so y equal to e power x times e power c and this is another constant so you can write this to be y equal to some constant in e power x or c into e power x minus y equal to 0 this is a linear differential equation you can look at the last video we learned linear and Bernoulli so dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q and you can see that p is equal to 1 and q equal to minus x so what's the integrating factor e to the power integral p dx that is 1 dx so that will be e to the power x now solution is y into if equal to integral q into if dx plus c that is y into what is integrating factor e power x minus integral or equal to integral q what is q minus x e power x dx plus c now our highlight rule we have done this so many times first function is x the derivative of x integration of the second function two times so y e power x equal to minus you remember the trick right you can check the last two videos we have applied this trick so many times multiply this minus the integral from our hand and multiply this so we get y into e power x equal to minus x e power x minus minus will be plus e power x plus c so what is the general solution so general solution will be c e power x minus y times y e power x plus x e power x minus e power x minus c equal to 0 uh, but look at this once more i am repeating some people might divide throughout by e power x so their solution will look different but it's the same anyway uh, i'll be back with the next video very soon and in the next video we will learn something very very important and a little bit tough compared to these differential equations that is solvable for x and solvable for y so till then my friends bye